Welcome to video 21 on flight sim navigation where we are going to have a look at how we can stay on course when we are tracking a certain radial to or from a VOR but we are blown away by crosswind and then we use this technique called bracketing which we also saw already when we did this same with the NDB. A quick recap, here we are flying, we are on a 45 bearing to this NDB but the wind blew us a little bit to the left and I'm now at 50 degrees uh, already and we can show see that on the uh, needle the CDR needle it shows us this little deflection but it's a small deflection the CDR needle is not that sensitive yeah it has the 360 scale so one degree is uh, just a tiny movement with the VOR that is even a little bit better uh, and also this effect takes place now I did a 10 degree compensation to find my original bearing back but that shows on the needle uh, that I am now at the other side so to speak so this can be a little bit confusing even and the confusion with an NDB is even more when we are flying away from it because then the needle starts to deflect just inverted it's the other way around which is why I, I always look at the arrow of the needle because for the compensation you have to fly to the needle but in this case I have to fly away from the needle but still to the arrow so looking at the arrow uh, can avoid little mistakes but all in all this NDB is well, well prone for errors or confusion or what have you with VORs this is a quite more easy actually I am here flying to the VOR, my intended bearing is 45 but I am blown away 5 degrees. Uh, this needle shows that quite well even if I would fly away 1 degree it's so sensitive that I can easily see that it is not straight, it has a good deflection. But moreover if I make my compensation, I, I now compensated the first iteration of 10 degrees that does not show on the needle because that is insensitive of my heading uh, so I can fly any heading and the needle will still be the same if I am on this radial uh, and that's great, that avoids any confusion uh, always fly to the needle so in this case the needle is right I have to fly to the right to intercept it again uh, and then if I fly away from a VOR also then things are easy because I get blown to the left by the wind but the needle just uh, stays, keeps going to the uh, same direction no um, inversion like with an NDB well all in all uh, VOR tracking is easier so how did we do it well we see the needle deflect and the first iteration is to compensate say 10 degrees then we look if the needle stays still if it doesn't we add or subtract 5 degrees and then 2 and then 1 so we make our steps smaller and then the needle will stay still probably I'm not on the correct heading anymore, um, bearing anymore so I, I make a larger compensation to get back on track and then I go back to my corrected uh, heading uh, let's have a look at that in real time in a flight uh, this is what we are going to do here we are, we are trying to fly on a 210 bearing to this VOR so we are on the 30 radial inbound but radials are always outbound so the 30 radial inbound is the 210 radial outbound my course my heading is 210 but there is a quite hefty crosswind exactly 90 degrees and it will blow us away let's see how we can compensate for that yeah all right so here we are on pause and just to have a stable startup situation uh, I just intercepted the Bruno uh, VOR and the radio frequency 110.6 and uh, we were flying I just intercepted it on the uh, 210 radial uh, outbound or the 30 radial inbound 
and the needle is perfectly vertical but there is a lot of wind so let's see what happens if i start uh, we can see the plane is shaking immensely and well it would be a wonder if the needle stays straight and we can already see after just a couple of seconds that it is going to move to the right so why wait any longer we can clearly see this is a hefty wind uh, we are going to uh, correct 10 degrees and let me try to do that uh, here with the heading book uh, we are flying on autopilot so I should be able to change this book at 10 degrees and then we will see what our needle does the first goal is to get that needle stable to get it quiet um, so we will just wait uh, let's say a half a minute to see if it is, if it still moves and if it does we make a further correction or maybe we correct it too far and then we subtract five degrees we started with 10 now we add or subtract five well i can clearly see that the needle is still inclined to move a little bit to the right so i'm going to add five degrees to my correction and uh, let me do that right now yeah there we are and then we will see what my, ne oh, what my needle is going to do uh, if it stays stable now then this is okay but then all we need to do is get back on our original heading or, or intended heading of a course or bearing i should say in this case um, of 210 because we can clearly see that we are off every dot over here is two degrees so we are now some four degrees off it looks like the needle is uh, standing still so indeed 215 uh, 225 is where we are flying now is the correct uh, uh, compensation for this crosswind to get back on course let's now uh, add uh, another 15 degrees and fly 240 for a while and until my needle is back at zero then i can return to my compensated heading of 225 well needle is almost vertical so let's now return to this 225 heading and that should keep us stable on the intended heading uh, bearing of 10 to the VOR. Let's have a little look at the map at this moment in time. Uh, this is where we are. We are trying to reach this VOR on a 210 radial or 30 radial inbound. Um, and we can see that our plane is actually headed, uh, yeah, passing the VOR, but that's because of we fight the wind and it looks like that uh, we are well quite well on course i could uh, even make our compensation a little bit less because the needle is now going a little bit to the left so two degrees uh, less um, this by the way is uh, also uh, because we are now quite close to the vor and then it of course becomes very sensitive so we actually do, do not need to make any further compensations this will do well this was it bracketing with a vor it is easier to do than with an ndb the needle is more sensitive and the direction of the needle if we fly inbound or outbound is always the same so we always fly to the needle we can see it moving quite fast now but that's obviously because we are very close to the VOR. Thank you for watching and see you maybe in the next video.